Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, a very small video, a simple quick topic. Uh, the next topic in selectors of Playwright, selecting elements that contain other elements. So I'll do one thing, I'll just move it over here. That is the fifth section that we are going to talk about under Playwright Selector series. Selecting elements that contain other elements. It means you have to select a specific parent element which is having a specific child element. Right, that's something interesting. What you can do is that you simply go to let's see this application, and I'm going to launch this application. I'll show you directly in the Playwright uh, locator. I'll do one thing. I'll just launch this application through the Playwright inspector, so that you will we will try to inspect that as well, right? And then we will try to see how exactly the Playwright locators we can create that with this option. So I'm going to launch this. Uh, you must have already seen that through the code generation, I'm launching the Playwright Inspector. You can just minimize the Playwright Inspector right now. We don't need that. Okay. And uh, I'll do one thing. I'm just open the Chrome Dev Tools so that I can inspect the Playwright. Uh, okay. Let it just put it over here so that I can inspect that uh, the Playwright uh, locators also. We can do that. Okay. So uh, what should I do in this case? For example, let's see there is a country drop down and in this country drop down, I'm looking for a drop down which is having a country as India, which is having a specific child element there, right? So in that case, what should I do? For example, I'm going to inspect this guy and here you can see this is a select country drop down having the select tag there. Okay, and having multiple option tags which are available here, you can see that. So I'll go to console and then I'll start creating the playwright See, this is my playwright dot a dollar and then I'm looking for the country drop down which is having a text or let's see the value as India. So I'll see that okay fine this is the uh, select where ID is already written. So first I'm going to create one parent tag here like this. So this is the uh, select then it's an ID so I'm going to use hash and then ID and then I'm going to use a colon has method that is a, a pseudo CSS class that I'm going to use has and then it has what it has one option this is the option tag that I'm going to use and option what option and then I'm going to create a CSS selector for this so I'm going to use this particular property where value is equal to something like this let's see value is equal to India so I'll write value is equal to India from here so see this carefully this will actually give you select tag right for example let's see tomorrow id is not available or there are multiple drop downs are available so to identify the specific drop down which is having a specific uh, child element as value is equal to india give me that so let's see it is inspecting that or not see it's giving you this particular country html tag here okay you can see select name country equal to this so it's giving you the html uh, code for the select country drop down and here you can see open that and here you can see that value is equal to India somewhere over here, right? So you can easily use this. So what should I do in that case? I simple uh, use this particular uh, locator. Okay, copy this particular locator and then come back to your script. And uh, what is the locator that you have already created? So I simple write page dot uh, locator. So this is giving you what? This is giving you a parent tag which is having one option where value is equal to India. So you can use this has method and you can say this is the pseudo CSS class also you can use that and it's supported by Playwright and you can easily find out that a specific locator and with this locator what exactly you want out just give me that particular locator and then whatever you want to use with that you can just use it. So for example let's see I'm going to uh, store inside the locator like this for example and uh, see this locator is actually giving you locator i'm storing inside the locator here so import from microsoft playwright and with this particular loc whatever you want to do this so let's see i'll simple say give me all inner text right so all inner text will give you what it will give you list of a string and i say okay fine i'll use the one for each method using the lambda supplying to the e to print the text of each and every page locator right each and every option value available in that particular select drop down and you simply run it that's it so see that it's actually giving you or not so here you can see it's actually printing all the country values over here like that so this is absolutely working fine 
For example, there is one paragraph is written. Under that paragraph, there is one more sub paragraph is written. And then you really want to check that a specific paragraph is having the specific value or not. So in that case, you can just simply select the parent paragraph there like this. Especially in some cases, you can use it with the, uh, let's say you go to the Amazon application. Let's take one more example here. You simply go to amazon.com. On amazon.com, you are looking for, for example, only see this, get to know us this particular column. So I'll do one thing, amazon.com, I'll just open with the playwright directly over here so that we can just locate all the playwright locators. You go to here that uh, at the footer of the page, you inspect this guy careers and in the careers, so what you will see here, just a second, let me just show you the complete element section here. Okay. See this actually having this UL under this particular, this is the UL list that we have under this particular div, right? So we have multiple divs. See, this is the first div where class equal to this nef footer link column. Then we have one more, then we have third one and then we have the fourth one. So we have the fourth, uh, four columns are there, right? Four divs are available like that. So in this case, I simple looking for only those links which are available under the first column. So simple open that and then you can just simple say that, okay, yeah, under first we know that careers is there or get to know us is there or something like this. So what you can do is that you can just simply create one, let's see, just open this UL and then open this LI. So I'm looking for uh, only that particular column values where a href is equal to this amazon.jobs. So how will you create that? Right. So this is slightly tricky. What you can do is that, okay, fine, that uh, I can just simple go to the console and I'll start writing the playwright locator. So playwright dot a dollar. And now see this carefully. What exactly I'm going to do that first, I'm going to check what is a parent. It means this is the parent tag where this is a class is available. So I can just simply use div dot class. So for class, we use div dot class name. So this is my class name. And then under that, uh, it has what? It has colon has and uh, it has one link where href is equal to this because see this this div you can directly go to the grandchild also where a href equal to this right. href so I'll write a where href is equal to what the href is equal to this copy from here or any other specific uh, value that you want to write if any other property if you have it you can write that property as well so see this carefully. This is giving you what? This is giving you uh, this particular div only. Can you see that? It's giving you the entire div. It's not pointing to other divs. It means give me that column value where one link is available, has a means there is a link and then that link property is equal to amazon.jobs. So this is called the has property. That's it. That is what I'm saying. This is means find the element which is having some other elements. So I'm finding the div element, which is having this a element. It's not giving you a element. It's giving you actually the parent element, right? So I can use this on amazon.com, right? So I'll, in this case, I'll do one thing. I simply say, okay, fine. Let me just comment it out this one. And then I'm going to use, this is my page dot uh, locator. This is the locator that I'm going to use. And again, this will give you what? This will give you, let's see, this is uh, the footer list that is giving you only the first column footer list, right? And uh, from here, I'll do one thing from this uh, footer list that I'm going to use this method that all in a text dot for each and then pass it to the Lambda system dot or bend Allen and then print the value of E. And then I'm just going to change the URL with amazon.com. So I'm looking for on amazon.com, go to the footer page and whatever it's there on the first column where careers href is available just give me those values so this is the kind of query that i have actually created okay and uh, yeah so let's see this is actually working or not so i'm just going to replace the url it's really useful when you practice it will be super easy guys not that frequently you have to use it there are other ways also you can handle it we can use the xpath also but this is a option is available that's why i'm explaining you with this thing so amazon.com is getting open and here let's see and here you can see that yeah get to know us and everything is getting printed over here and you can compare see this you can just compare these values with this get to know us careers and i'm up to <coughs> till amazon signs here you can see till amazon signs we have that 
perfect so like this you can create locator with this which is having some other locators okay so in that case you have to use this uh, remember this option colon has you have to use it so before colon you have to write the parent tag and after that you have to write the specific child element you have to use this it will give you the parent element which is having a specific child and then after that whatever you want to use you want to capture the text you want to get their specific uh, single text dot fill dot click whatever you want to do that you can perform any action you can collect all the links also and then use it in your list of a string and then you can just use it with the for loop print it validate something any xyz things you can use it after that so that's all for this particular video i hope you liked it you got it please subscribe to the channel please share this playwright series with others who are looking for playwright with java i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all